Just over a month ago, Realme introduced us to their newest addition to the number series, the Realme 13 Pro series. Now, we have their more affordable option, which is the Realme 13 5G. Mabuhay Manila! This is Kat and today we are going to talk about the Realme 13 5G and what changes they made for them to offer this device at a lower price point. Let's find out! First, its design. Taking a quick look around the device, you'll notice it shares a familiar layout with the other Realme devices. The model we have here features the Speed Green variant. The Realme 13 5G weighs about 190 grams, which is a bit heavy because of its robust build. It has a good grip and it is easy to carry around. The back panel has a smooth matte-like finish and as you can see, it comes with a two-tone design. A plain finish on the upper part where the camera module resides and the rest has a design that looks clean and simple. Alright, so another notable feature of its back panel is that it comes with an IP64 rating which adds value to its own all durability. As for its frame, the volume rockers and power buttons are on the right side. At the bottom, you'll find a 3.5mm headphone jack, Type-C charging port, and the speaker grill. The top houses another speaker, a SIM tray, and a microphone. Alright, so we've been using this device for a couple of days now and so far its form factor is great. It is not comparable to its Pro variants but for a non-curved edge design, the phone feels comfortable to use. Switching to its display, the Realme 13 5G features a 6.72-inch Full HD Plus IPS LCD screen with a 120Hz refresh rate and a resolution of 1080 by 2400 pixels. For entertainment, even though it is not an AMOLED display, it still offers some decent viewing angles and vibrant colors. The bezels around the device are also thin, which is great. Using it for multimedia consumption offers impressive quality. However, it is not the best for outdoor use since it only has a peak brightness of 580 nits. Although you can still see most of its display, but you'll struggle a bit, especially when you are in the direct sunlight. Now, let's hop on to its cameras. The Realme 13 5G sports a dual camera setup with a 50 megapixel OIS main and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. You also get a 16 megapixel selfie shooter. Alright, when it comes to outdoor photography, the Realme 13 5G offers impressive color reproduction with a wide dynamic range. It delivers images with sharp details with no visible deep blacks or shadows. However, sometimes it captures overpowered images that reduce the details of the output. All in all, the performance of its rear camera delivers exceptional quality. Alright, as for its selfie, it captures a true-to-life skin tone but sometimes results tend to have blown-out highlights. Just like other Realme devices, the selfie camera tends to have too many details making the results sharper than usual. As for its video recording, its rear camera can shoot up to 2K at 30fps. Well, its selfie camera can only shoot up to 1080p at 30fps. Alright, now with the cameras out of the way, let's talk about its performance. Under the hood, the Realme 13 5G is powered by MediaTek Dimensity 6300. Out of the box, it runs on Android 14 paired with Realme UI 5.0. It comes with tons of pre-installed applications but don't worry since all of them can be easily uninstalled. Our review unit comes with 12GB of RAM which is expandable up to another 14GB. It is also paired with a 256 gigs of storage. Gaming on this device is decent. It can handle most titles with ease but playing games that are more graphically demanding showed a bit of performance drops. Here are some of its benchmark results. Alright, as 
As for its battery, the Realme 13 5G features a standard 5000mAh battery paired with 45 watts Super Hook Wire charging. During our video loop test, the Realme 13 5G lasted for about 16 hours and 12 minutes. As for its charging, from 0 to 100%, it took us around 1 hour and 12 minutes. Finally, for its price, the Realme 13 5G is priced at 16,999 pesos for the 12GB plus 256GB config. Overall, one of the outstanding features of the Realme 13 5G is its camera performance. It may not be as good as its Pro variants, but it manages to output an on-par quality. Aside from that, it has a good display with decent battery and charging performance. It may not have the vegan leather design, but it still has a unique touch to its overall design. Is it worth it for its price? Maybe. It is not the best phone at its price point, but if you wanted a Realme 13 device but you're on a tight budget, then this device is a solid buy. So that is our review of the Realme 13 5G. What are your thoughts about this device? Let us know in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you will be updated with our future uploads. And also don't forget to visit manilashaker.com and follow us on FB, X, and TikTok for more tech news, reviews, and comparisons of the latest devices. Once again, this is Kath and Manila.